Hello everyone. Welcome to a new tutorial in the series of tutorials on LaTeX from quicklatex.blogspot.com. Today I am going to um, explain how to draw the Reddit alien using LaTeX. Now if you are not aware of Reddit, you are lucky. That's what you are. You're lucky if you're not aware of Reddit because it's a monster that will take all your time away. Anything productive that can you think of now that will end up as a thought afterwards if you're on Reddit. So don't go there. It's a one-way traffic. You can go in, but you cannot come out once you are there. Anyways, so because I'm hooked to it, I have to um, do that because it gives me so much, I don't want to say fun, but somehow I, I spend time there. So I'll, I'll put this alien there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But for you, if you're not an editor, let me tell you, this is a tutorial on how to draw a cartoon figure like this using LaTeX. So let's, let's get working. So the first thing that I do is I define a color and I want a color for these eyes. So this is my color. So if I put capital R, capital G and capital B, so this uppercase letters, let me specify the color combination using the values between 0 and 255 for red, green and blue. And I call it orange red because that is the color. You can call it anything you want. And if you put um, lowercase rgb, you can specify a value between 0 and 1. So one part of red and maybe 0 part or 0.25 part of green and 0 part of blue. Maybe it will give the same effect, but I prefer it that way. <clears throat> okay, going forward, um, if I draw a line at all, in that case, my line will be um, extra thick. But I don't think I actually draw a line, so don't worry about it. And then there is something I call Vrut. It's an Indian term, and it means a circle. But uh, <clears throat> here I'm specifying the height of the circle. So we'll use this to create eyes. So minimum height is 0.5 inch, so it's the height. You can specify the radius, but um, I just wanted a quick fix and I didn't want to see how to um, specify a radius. So I prefer the minimum height because it works fine. <coughs> then um, this face is the ellipse. So for that I, style, uh, I define this style. And this is the minimum height and minimum width. So the specification, the ratio specification says that the text width this width is a little bigger than the height so it's not the exact ratios but um, it solves the purpose so whatever fits the bill fits the bill then begin take the picture and what I'm doing here is that I am creating different layers um, let's not forget that so what I have done is that I have created three layers background main and foreground the idea is that if you put something on the foreground, it will um, show first. And if you put something on the background, it will be hidden behind the foreground. So when I'll explain, I'll, I'll show you what's happening here, um, why, why I use that. It's a quick fix. <clears throat> so the first thing, I draw a face. So this face comes up. So if I hide this, comment this, and run this, the face will be gone. Okay, well, actually, we need the face because I refer to face everywhere. But if I say fill equals to red and run it, so you see, that is the face we are talking about. So I'm gonna do it white. So just to tell you that this is exactly what is happening. And there is a reason I'm putting a fill equals to white here because even if I don't do it, so you see. So what's happening here, I'll, I'll explain that later, but there is a reason I'm putting fill equals to white here. <clears throat> now then feet. So feet start with a line here, a straight line. So um, now this is, I just create a node so that it gives me this location. So I just create a node at 4.1 on y axis from here and negative 2.0. So kind of here it gives me this point and at that point I draw a line from that point to 
plus 3.8 inch and 0 inch so on y axis you don't move but on x axis you go this far so this is a 3.8 inch long line then I draw the feet so these two now this as you can see is an arc and this is an arc too so um, the way I do it is that if this is my line and I have to draw a angle if I have to draw an arc I need to find out what angle this arc should be so if this is 90 so this will be 90 angle right if I um, put a perpendicular line here so this will be a 90 angle this would be something less than 90 and the third thing that you need to remember is um, the arc is a part of a circle so here look carefully this is the radius of that circle this arc is a part of this is one of the angles so you can say it is the angle where you're um, putting it and so it takes basically two angles that start at angle 10 and then end at angle 90 so in that circle what part do you want to um, take out uh, plot this arc so this arc actually is a combination of two angles right so basically that so I tweaked it and I, I tr did trial and error and figured out what works <coughs> so this is for the feet so two arcs here then torso so this part so for that what I do the same thing it's uh, it starts here now see where it starts is face dot 230 so face itself itself is an ellipse with um, 0 through 260 angles. So at the angle 230, which is about here, I start the line and then I end the line 0.75 plus 0.75. That means if this is my point, 0.75 is here. So my x coordinate of the ending point is this one. Y coordinate is negative 3.15. That means it goes below there. So this is the coordinates of the ending point so this is a starting point for that line this is the ending point now I don't want a straight line I want a curved line so I changed the out and in degrees of the line so this line will start at 260 degrees here so if you draw a line here you'll see that the angle here this angle is 260 so it goes out at 260 and this angle here is 150 so it comes in at 150 so that way I draw this and then similarly exact opposite of that so if this was 260 this will be 280 so I do that um, <coughs> then I draw the eyes same thing left eye right eye and I just put it in there so if you remember this was the this is where we started face so I said I sh x shift negative 5 because this is the left eye I don't want it to start in the middle so I pull it little on the left side and then y shift 9mm 9 9 so 9mm below that and 5em so I don't want it in the middle I go it um, on the right side for the right eye so plus 5mm that explains that and for the smile what I did is that I started here below the um, eye and I ended here and I said okay this is the out angle and this is the in angle this actually is useless we don't need that mm. then to draw the antenna it goes that way and that way so this is one line and then at this point we continue the second line so first thing is drawing this line so this is the first point of the line second point and third point this plus before that means use the first coordinate and add this quantity to those coordinates to find the second coordinate and then use this quantity to find the third co uh, coordinate cool and then for the um, antenna circle we again use that root that we defined earlier the style but I change the height so I draw that and I arrange it based on X shift and Y shift so it appears here then the text I have written this LaTeX here so for that um, I use this slash hues which gives you a very big font 
and I have made it bold. So I will just skip this because we covered this in an earlier tutorial. Then for ears, now here is the interesting part. This is why I start my background layer here. So if you remember, I showed you that if I don't have this fill white, so that's my ears. So I have put these ears, but I don't want the inside part to show. Oh, by the way, no one knows why the alien has ears, what it does with them, but it has it, so it has it. So we draw the ears the same way, the arc, and we arrange the um, X and Y location. So maybe I can put this and it will look better. Yeah. Uh, doesn't look that good. I guess 4.2 was better. Okay. <clears throat> and then hence, the same way. Another arc. So, that's pretty much it. And then I end my um, background layer here. So that's it. So I'm going to put it on Reddit. So if you like it, you can check it out there. And then tell them that, you know, who created it, you know and how could i stop before advertising my blog so if you need any help with latex just go to quicklatex.blogspot.com don't forget it's quicklatex.blogspot.com okay adios see you in the next tutorial with some cool trips and uh, tricks and tips on latex see you